Hello, Shane McCusker here, Intelligent Software. I'm going to do a quick video to demonstrate sourcing on Facebook. My challenge for today is to do a little bit of talent mapping. I'm going to choose a company which uh, you may have heard of, uh, which has a reasonable size of a uh, number of people working for it. I'm going to try and find all those people on Facebook. Okay, the company I'm going to choose is Twitter in Dublin. Uh, Twitter is a well, a well known company but doesn't have a massive workforce. So hopefully I'll be able to identify lots of people who work there on Facebook. And I'm going to do this, I'm going to use uh, my latest Facebook search tool, which is a Chrome extension. It's available for free from our website, intel-sw.com. Okay, let's get started. Uh, I'm on Google Chrome, uh, and I'm going to hit my Facebook search tool, top right-hand corner of my uh, bar. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying I want to find people that work presently in Twitter and who live in Dublin lives Dublin okay run my Facebook search and immediately I'm gonna get some Facebook results uh, to what I want to do is create a, an Excel spreadsheet and I'm gonna list all these people and, and, and tidy up my list there and after so the first thing I'm gonna do is scroll down right down to the bottom of this list as I scroll, uh, Facebook loads up more and more results for me. And we'll see what sort of results I get. I'll go down. Yes, we're getting lots and lots of people here. Lots of them. All of them work on Twitter. What I find with this uh, approach to searching is that uh, Facebook will give me all the, uh, all the results are valid in terms of the search, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's all the results. So Facebook may have other people here who work for Twitter and live in Dublin, but it's only going to give me the first people it finds. Uh, so I'm going to hit my uh, Chrome extension again. And this time, because I'm on a results page, I've got a green button uh, and this is for downloading. So I click my download. It works through the results. It's pretty quick. Uh, and then you can see it's downloading uh, an Excel spreadsheet or a CSV file. I'm going to double click and open that up. Uh, when I do, you'll be able to see that all the people here, um, they all uh, employed by Twitter. And if you look at the address information that you get, uh, yeah, most of them will be in, in Dublin. Some of them aren't. I'm not too sure. Uh, oh, actually they are. Yeah. Okay. So in the snippet, it says they live in Dublin. Although whenever we actually look at the positions of some of these people, they're listed. There's somebody in California. So uh, maybe a little bit of tidying up to do. Okay, the next stage of the search, I'm going to go back to the top of my results set, and I'm going to go and visit some of these people's profiles. So we'll have a look at these people. I'm just going to pull them in. I'm going to go to their Facebook pages. Now, the reason I do that is because whenever I go to a Facebook page and hit my drop down, I'm going to clear my criteria, and I'm going to go for friends of. And then in the drop down, I'm going to pick this individual, and I'm going to run a search. And sometimes I'll be able to search and get people's friends. So in this instance, I've been able to find friends of this individual. So that's interesting. I, I'm running that uh, search, first of all, just to test the theory. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for this person's friends and they like Twitter. Okay, so this person lives in Dublin. He works for Twitter. I'm going to find people of his friends who like Twitter and see what results I get. Okay, in this instance, I have no results. So we'll move on and we'll try somebody else. Uh, I'll go and have a look at Paula here. Select Paula. From that search, what do I get? Yay, success. Look at this. Uh, uh, partner support at Twitter, works at Twitter, recruiter at Twitter, blah, blah, blah. Th there'll be some duplication here, but there'll be some people that, that are new to me. So I'm going to... Again, download all these results. It opens up another Excel file. I'm just going to select the whole lot, actually. And then we'll cut and paste it in. To my original sheet. How many more people are we getting? There we go. And I keep on going and I can keep on going like this. You can see how versatile the tool is. I mean, if you look at the different um, options you have to the search criteria, uh, you know, you can search by people by their name. Think about what Facebook encourages people to do. 
with Facebook, you're encouraged to like things, you're encouraged to have friends, you're encouraged to share photographs. We don't have a photo search on this as yet, but it'll be coming soon. Um, so if you think about what people actually use Facebook for, then you'll appreciate how they're likely to relate themselves to a job or a company. You know, they'll like it or they'll be in a photograph associated with other people or they'll be friends with other people that work there. And all these things are searchable to a greater or lesser extent subject to people's um, permissions that they give you to, to access Facebook. So as you can see, my, my Excel spreadsheet is, is, is looking better and better. Um, I, I'm going to use Excel and the functions to deduplicate it and remove some, um, uh, I'll use the, in the data section, I've got to remove duplicates function so I can remove duplicates. I'll tidy it up and remove anybody who may say that they're living in, in Dublin, but then, then it gives a, a connection to, to some other place. And lo and behold, before you know it, you're going to have hundreds of people that work in Twitter uh, or whatever company it is that you're interested in. Hope you find that useful. As I say, the tool is freely available on our website, intel-sw.com. Intel Go to the Facebook page, download the tool. If you like it, please share it. Please comment. Uh, please give me feedback on it. Please review the tool uh, and we'll see where it goes to. Thanks for your time. All the best. Bye.